Hey y'all, my name is ZW Buckley and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ableton Live 12.2 is now out of beta and available to all users. It is a great update across the board and in particular, most people are focusing on the total overhaul of auto filter. But what if I told you that there is an even cooler brand new audio effect hidden in the 12.2 update? Because there is. And yeah, I am serious when I say that I think it might even be cooler than the auto filter overhaul. Let's jump in. Okay, imagine with me a delay effect that has the following. A section where you can saturate and filter the input signal before it gets delayed. Another section where you can independently saturate and filter the delayed signal. A built-in compressor that allows you to attenuate the feedback before it goes into the delay again. Not one, but two LFOs for modulation. An envelope follower for modulation. And a robust modulation matrix that lets you do damn near anything you'd like. Sounds like a dream come true near Swiss army knife of a delay, doesn't it? Well, the funny thing is that you will only find this near perfect delay in a drop down menu on Roar. So if you didn't know, Roar is Live's all-in-one saturation and distortion super effect. Part of what makes it so versatile is it has a bunch of routing options. 12.2 adds a delayed routing option, which sets up the first stage to process the direct signal before it's delayed, and the second stage to process the signal after it's delayed. You then get all of the incredible features of Roar, like its filter, saturation models, and complex modulation matrix. Taken all together, this can be a bit much, so let me show you why it's cool. Delays are all about adding additional movement and energy to whatever you apply them to. Roar dials that up a notch by letting you add movement on movement and energy on energy. So I've got this short little loop here. And we're going to apply Roar to that. So let's engage Roar. I'm going to select the delay routing and I'm going to set up the feedback to be a dotted eighth. Here's what that sounds like. We're gonna focus on just the direct signal first. So I'm going to select the half rectifier shaper and I'm going to set the amount to 15%. It sounds like cool distorted guitar harmonics, which I'm really into. I'm going to change the filter type to peak. I'm going to set the resonance to 0.5. I'm gonna set the peak to nine decibels. And I'm going to bring the frequency dial down to about halfway. Altogether, this is what the direct signal sounds like. Now let's activate the delayed signal and I'm going to set the shaper to trifold and I'm going to set the amount to 10%. I'm also going to set the filter type to peak the frequency to again, about halfway through. I'm gonna bring the resonance all the way up to one and the peak to 12 decibels. Let's check in with how it's sounding now. And I'm gonna bring the output down about six decibels to help us tame what's happening. At this stage, we have a really interesting delay set up with deep tone shaping capabilities. All we have to do is play around with the frequency of those peaks. But the real magic comes when we start to modulate these parameters. Let's expand Roar using this toggle here so we can see the full device. We're gonna be focusing on this modulation matrix to the side. Let's again start with the direct signal. We're going to set the filter frequency cutoff to noise and we're gonna set it to 25. 
Noise is Roar's randomized LFO, and we're going to leave the settings exactly as they are. For the delayed signal, we're going to route the filter cutoff to the envelope follower, which tracks the incoming amplitude into Roar and modulates whatever it's assigned to based off of that amplitude. We're going to set that to 50. Now those peaks are modulated and we have all of these interesting resonances moving throughout the signal. Those resonances change depending upon how we set the frequency for each stage. And then we can use the wet dry to reintroduce some of the dry signal. You can do a ton with Roar as a delay, and I've been spending so much time with it. If you want to support the channel, you can pick up my Dirty Delay Pack from my website. It's a small collection of racks that I have made using Roar's delay routing. It's also a part of my Total Bundle, and if you already own the Total Bundle, you can go download the Dirty Delay Pack for free. Thank you for already supporting the channel. As always, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. I'm working really hard to try to grow this channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2025, and your support and kind words mean the world to me. Till next time.